Hey there, this is Ina and welcome to Kesho Academy. Today I'll show you how to design this character in After Effects and then in the next episode we'll be animating this character. My project files are in the description as always if you want to practice on your own. We have a lot of work so let me jump to my computer and get this thing started. Okay, great. So we'll start by creating a simple circle and then we will adjust the position to make sure it's at the center and we will change the fill cover. Then click enter on your keyboard and then change the name to body. Now we are going to create another circle and that would be our eye. Now make sure it's at the center. Uh, the anchor point is at the center as well. And let's change the color to white. Now let's make some adjustments and rename that eye. Now we are going to duplicate this layer and move it around, that will be our right eye. Now let's duplicate that again and that will be our pupil. And then let's change the color to black. You might need to adjust that a little bit. And now let's click enter and rename that. Then we are going to create another layer, that will be the mask of the eye. The reason is because we want to create a mask that will be for the pupil and then make sure it is not going outside of the eye. So we're going to create a mask for the eye and then move the mask above the pupil layer. We are going to change the mode to alpha mate. Now we are going to repeat the same thing. We're going to duplicate it, change the position of it, then duplicate the eye, change the name to mask and make sure it's alpha me again. So great, so now we have our eyes and the body. Let's create the beard now. I'm going to start by creating a simple circle, renaming that beard and changing the color to white. Let's adjust that and then let's create another mask. Make sure you click on this icon over here. If you don't do that, you'll be creating a shape and not a mask. And we don't want to have a shape inside our shape but we want to create a mask in this shape. So that's why we need to create this icon over here. And we're going to create a mask for the beard because we don't want it to be super symmetrical circle. Now let's create the nose. We will start by creating a simple shape again and then changing the color. For now, I'm going to use a slightly darker color than the body. Let's continue with the eyebrows. So I'll just draw a simple line and change the stroke, change the color to black and now duplicate this layer again. Uh, let me make sure the anchor point is at the center of this shape so it's easier for me to move it. And now let's move the right eyebrow. Now I'm going to go to stroke and make sure the line cap is round cap. I'm going to repeat the same process with the other eyebrow. Now, I just need to change the stroke a little bit because I'm not sure I like it that way. And then I'm going to make some adjustments on the beard. Remember that when we created the beard, we created a circle shape. Uh, however, now I want to treat that as path and not as a shape. So I'm going to open up the beard, right click on the ellipse path and then click convert to base your path. That way I now have a path. I'm going to click on the path and then click on one of the dots from the uh, path and then I'm going to slightly adjust the beard because I think it's just too long. Now let me just do a few minor adjustments to the beard and now I'm going to start creating the hat. So I'm going to start by drawing a simple line and then I am going to remove the fill because I want it to be with outlines only. I'll change the color then adjust the path and the stroke a bit. Now let's open up the shape and again make sure we have a round cap. Okay great, so now we're going to create the head. Uh, just create another circle, that will be one of the elements of the head. This time I'll remove the stroke and add a fill cover. I will make that red and then I'm going to move it below the other layer. Now I'm going to create another shape, that will be the other part of the head. So I'm going to speed this up, but basically I am just creating the head. And now I would like to create the little circle that's on the head. So let me do that. I'll change this color to white. And then I want to create a mask because as you can see, there's a weird 
semicircle below my white line that I don't want to see. So I'm going to repeat the same thing um, as if I'm creating a shape, but then clicking on this icon over here so I be can be creating a mask and not a shape. And then I will create my mask. And then I'm going to expand my masks and make sure I click on invert it. So that would invert the mask that I just created and boom, we have it ready. Now I'm going to create the mouth, just a simple shape. I'll change the color of it, then change the stroke to eight. And then I'm going to make sure I have a round cap as well. Okay, that's great. So it's time to make some adjustments Now it's time to rename all the layers. Um, you can do that by clicking enter. Let's create these cool little noise effects that, that you can see on our character. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the noise of the body. So we're going to duplicate the body by clicking control D. And then let me just isolate them and again, create a mask. Make sure it's a mask, not a shape. Now let me adjust it a little bit. And now I want to change the color because the noise should be a darker color. Then let me open up the masks and make sure I change the feather. You can play around with the feather until you're happy with the way your noise looks, but uh, you might want to do this later. For now, just make sure you have a mask feather on the mode, click this off, and this is how our noise looks. And as you can see now, we might need to adjust the feather again. So we're going to repeat the same process with the nose. We are going to duplicate the nose and then we are going to create a mask. Make sure again, it's a mask, not a shape. Then change the color and then add the mask feather and then change the mode to dissolve. And we'll need to play around with the feather again. Okay, great. So now let's do the exact same thing with the beard creating the mask, make sure it's dissolved and adjusting the mask feather. However, as you can see here, this noise goes outside of the beard and we don't want this to happen. So we are going to create another mask for the noise. And the way we do that would be to duplicate the original beard, not the noise. We're going to move it above the noise and name that mask and then change that to alpha mate. Okay, great. So we just designed our character in After Effects. In the next episode, we'll be animating this character. So stick around.